Uh, we have a very, very special guest. Uh, he's going to come out here. He's going to talk to you. Then he's going to bring up Dougie. Uh, I am a huge fan of his. Uh, it's really, it's an honor to bring him up here. Uh, please keep it going for the Lord of Conspiracy, Alex Jones, everybody. Yeah. Sorry for you. I mean, you came out here to have a good time, and here's some great comics. And believe me, you've heard it. That last guy was absolutely amazing. Yeah. And Doug's Doug's great too. He's a well, he's a degenerate atheist, but other than that, he's a pretty good guy. No, but seriously, uh, I'm not a comedian, and I've heard a lot of stuff about Iraq, and I've heard some other comments about politics and. Let's just go over some basic stuff here for a minute, okay? This is not a drill! This is some serious shit! Alright? I've got the film clip of Eisenhower back in 1958 calling Fidel Castro the Abraham Lincoln of the Caribbean. Maybe he is. But my point is, they put that motherfucker in power. They put him in there. But it's not just him. It's everybody. It's Ho Chi Minh. It's Mao Zedong. It's Manuel Noriega. It's Osama bin Laden. It's Saddam Hussein. It's the Shah. It's the. They build them up, they knock them down, and I watch them stick our troops in these meat grinders. And it's all admitted, you know, I'm the weirdo who sits there and watches the C SPAN documentaries where they've got the 85 year old CIA section chief, you know, who back in. 1950 goes, well, actually, the CIA was behind Mao and we put him into power. Of course, I already knew that, but now these, these bastards are admitting it? Mao Zedong killed 50 million people! And they want to sit around and tell me about Saddam Hussein for some war for $4 trillion in oil? Oh, we wouldn't do that over oil. We're just the big badasses in the 100-story buildings they don't even run the nuclear weapons. They don't own your private prisons. But that they're, that they're going to stick you and your family in as soon as they find you doing something wrong, some bullshit law they created. That's right. That's right. So this is the reality. And I have to sit here and watch him setting this up, setting up a living hell for all of us. The boys running this country, and I mean Mr. Kerry and his cousin George W. Bush, his coffin made of stone bones. These guys are the ones who put the Hitlers and the Stalins in. They're the people that create the crises to offer you the solutions. And somebody said 1984, and it's true. That's what it's all about. The war is against the people. The war is against the people. But going back to Saddam Hussein, I'm going to bring Doug up here, because that's who you came to see. And they, they asked me to come up here, so I did it. Take your but, time. <laughs> no, the point here is the point here is is that David Degenerate Rockefeller. David Rockefeller, you might want to find out who he is. He he really doesn't like you and he wants to put cancer viruses in your vaccines. He he really wants to kill you. Point is a sicko. He's really he's a mouthist. He's a social Darwinist. He wants to kill 80% of you. He, he says it in major publications. He knows you don't read them. So he laughs at you. Now, the David Rockefeller, when Mao died in 76, he was in the New York Times. He said, oh, Mao is so wonderful. Mao is so great. He does such a great job. What a wonderful person. That's how arrogant these people are. But let's take Saddam Hussein. Admitted fact. 1954, young 18-year-old guy. They hire him. CIA takes him to Egypt, trains him how to kill people. Drinks him out to blow stuff up, shoot people. They send him into Iraq. Oh, he kills hundreds. Hundreds. Takes over. And then by 1969, they tell the Ba'ath government, we'll have Saddam stop killing all of you if you put him in as the head of security. Kind of like they're about to put Porter Goss in as the head of our security, our new Gestapo. And uh, then in 1979, they put him in as the president, and they say, sick him. Sick him. Get him. Admittedly. Attack. Iran. Kill. Kill. And he kills a million, three hundred thousand of the, the damn Iranians. And uh, then a few years later, they tell him, go ahead and invade Kuwait now. Why the ambassador, April Gillespie, sits their own chair with him and goes, I don't think you should invade immediately. This ain't on film. And he rolls in, follows orders. And I, I, 
I watched that guy two years ago sitting there all freaked out with his cat going, I've been set up. It's on the RPD. I was ordered to do all of this. I, 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 you know, he's finally admitting all this. But you never hear about that in America. So do I like Saddam Hussein? Hell no. I hate this guy, this hit man they created. But it's the same thing with all these people. Noriega, all of them. It's a joke. They've got to have somebody to bomb so they go out and create the boogeyman and have them do some mischief. It, it's just incredible. And, you know, growing up, young man, you can be president. Any young lady can be president. We can all be president. It's a free country. Is that why you've got 15 members of Skull and Bones each year out of 290 million people? 15 members each year. And we can't even have two presidential candidates that aren't from that group? Hey, you're blowing my buzz. Now you see this guy's just been blowing his buzz. Tell jokes or get off the stage. See there? See there? Come on, man. We're here to have fun. Hey, get off the stage. See, see, they asked me to come up here. You're blowing my buzz. You see, he wants to. I told you. Hey, 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 what do you say to it? What do you say to it? Tell some jokes. You guys want him? Hang on. He's about to do the tip fuck joke. <laughs> exactly. Shut up. This is for me, asshole. All right. All right. Well, seriously. They asked me to come up here. Thank you, guys. And that's why I was going to say I love God. He may be a degenerate atheist, but my God, he's a hell of a lot better than the Christian Coalition. Hey, did you see the New York Post two weeks ago? Now, I've already broken in there and proven all this, but it said, top gay porn stars serving, servicing Republican leaders at the Bohemian Grove. You want to know where the FBI needs to be investigating people that's over there, but that's my point, is it's totally hypocritical. The whole thing's a giant scam. And, you know, I forgot this guy in the stratosphere who wants to go back to Kansas. You're not in Kansas anymore. I forgot where I was at when he interrupted me. As I was closing down. As I was completing my bombardment of the gray matter. What was it? Yeah, was that what I was talking about? Shut up, man. All right. What? What are you talking about? What's going on? What did I call you? I called you a big fucking pussy. Oh, yeah? That's what I called you, Bruiser. Bam! Bam! You're a big badass. You don't want to hear the truth because you're a little coward. You can't handle the truth. You don't want to hear about 50 million people. You want to sit there. Hey, I'll be sitting right there when you're done, boy. That's right, you little weasel. I called you a little punk. Yeah. Yeah. That's a coward right there, folks. That's a coward. That's a punk. Who loves the new world order? As I was saying, no. Hey, you want to be slaves? Don't worry. There's seven billion of you in prisons now. They're building more. And when you're in it, crying for somebody to help you? Why? 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 Be asking for you. Yeah, no, you no, no. You'll be asking why the five big guys got you bent over the table, and you'll be wishing you weren't a slave, punk, because you weren't man enough to face the new world order. That's right. You're a punk. Don't stand 